Hey YouTube, so a few videos ago I showed off my teleporting bots for Powerline.io where when you press a keybind it'll teleport a ton of bots to your location. Um, some people were wanting a technical explanation of how those bots worked and although I can't show the code, uh, or most of the code at least, um, just because I don't want Powerline.io to become overrun with bots, uh, I, can sh I can give a technical explanation. So. It all starts with the website. So the website, which is hosted on my computer right here, um, uses the powerline.io code. Um, so all of the uh, all of the um, files for powerline.io uh, hosted on my computer. So here's all the files. Uh, and really, the only things that I changed was the background and the main JavaScript for powerline.io. Um, so what I changed is right here. Uh, you can see um, when I press key code 75, which is K, uh, what it'll do is it'll initialize a WebSocket connection to uh, port 1338 on the local computer that it's being run on. And it'll send uh, whether basically a zero or one value, true or false, whether the uh, teleporting, this right here, is on or off. Um, sends that via array buffer, and this Node.js program receives that information down here. And uh, right here, um, and you can see, where is it? Yep, right here. Uh, you can see it sets this value to whatever that value was. Um, and it resets the amount of bots spawned. So that is where it starts. Down more in the code, you can see if the tele if it's teleporting, um, then it will send the x and y positions for the snake, the direction and the speed of the snake. Um, that is received right here. And when that's received, uh, it'll set this value to um, to all of this. So it'll it'll just transmit that data over into a, an, an array. Uh, that is then interpreted by the bot to determine where to spawn the bot uh, and everything. So that's all good. Uh, and that's really it for this. Now up here is where all of the config values are. So that's where I specify the name, the amount of threads that is created when uh, when this program is launched, the minimum about, amount of bots to spawn, uh, or the min minimum amount of bots that have to be spawned to uh, enable the entire program, the max amount of bots per proxy, just to prevent IP banning, um, the time between each bot spawn, so in this case it's 10 milliseconds, uh, whether you use HTTPS or not, so um, SSL, or um, what is it, uh, WSS, the country code, if the IP to connect is not, uh, not here, so if that is that, um, and the master server to use for the country code, so I can spawn in any of the three servers that Powerline has. Um, you know, obviously the IP to connect will um, will uh, be able to. This will just force it to connect to this IP because sometimes Powerline.io will um, make a server full and then uh, the master server won't specify that server anymore. Uh, it'll change to a new server. And whether to use proxies. If this is false, then like you're just gonna get yourself IP banned, uh, which isn't that fun. And that is really all for the code. Um, if I launch the bot real quick, uh, I'm just going to spawn a little bit. So I'm going to spawn with 10 threads, uh, zero amount spawned. Um, you know, I'll actually just make it 10. And uh, I'll just name them test. And save that. And then launch this. You can see it shows a ton of things. Uh, it's not, this server is probably down. 
So it's just now going to connect to the first uh, US server that it can find. So you can see all of the bots ready and are are all ready. So if I launch into the Americas, which is what US is, if I launch into that and I press K, uh, hmm, it's not wanting to teleport. Uh, Powerline.io is really odd in how it controls um, the way I'm exploiting the uh, teleports. Oh, you know what? So what it's doing, I don't actually have it set up for teleporting mode. Uh, right now it's just spawning uh, bots immediately and killing them. Um, which is, you know, the normal way that I use bots. I don't really use the teleporting feature that often because it lags the server like crazy. Um, so now I'm going to close that. So now no more bots will spawn. Um, that's really all the technical explanation that I can give for how the bots work. Uh, I can't really go into more detail just, uh, because, um, I don't want people to recreate these bots and give them out and have power line destroyed because I'm not going to lie, these bots would be very difficult to patch um, just because power line is so, so simple and so easy to bot um, that people would make bypasses for the for whatever patches the developer would implement really, really fast. And yeah, that's really it.